Okay, guys, so let's get to the face. This is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. I love this primer, especially for a cheaper alternative. It is perfect. Then I'm going to go in with the uh, Benefit Professional um, Pore Thing. Can't think of the name. <laughs> but <laughs> as you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of this. But why not just switch it up in a tutorial for a minute? This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer that I'm going to use all over my eyes. You guys know I've been raving about this. Love it. Got to pick it up. I also went in with concealer for my eyes to fix with, fix with the color so going in with this color this is the bh girl bh cosmetics party girl palette this brown here is going to be used as a transition color very very pretty brown picked up color a lot i'm going to go in now with this nika k eyeshadow base i learned that i use when i use a primer for my eyeshadow base it kind of helps me figure out my lid and how much space i have i know i know i'm late girl i'm late so this per uh, purple here is going to go into the beginning half of the lid and i'm just going to pack this on this next color is kind of like a bluish and honestly you can opt out of this color you could just go over your whole lid with that first purple color i wanted to see if it was going to blend well together because it was kind of close but i didn't like it so yeah opt out now that darker purple though i used that to fill in the rest of my lid space and i'm going to blend that in and this is like a deeper brown and i'm going to take that into the crease just to warm this up and smoke this up some um guys i'm not the biggest fan of purple i think i expressed that a long time ago however i learned that it's a lot of you guys' favorite color like what so and i noticed that a lot of people love to work with purple so i'm just like let me put some shit together okay <laughs> going back in with that transition color you see it's just deepening the crease some more um it just helps to add on color then i'm going to sweep the access off and go back in with my crease and we're done girl now this is the um what is this elf liquid liner you guys know i've been using this for years i don't see me using anything else this is really going to do the job you know you know when you just got that one thing that you stick to yeah so this is the maybelline fit me foundation in the color 360 let me go on a rant when it came out with the matte poreless it only went to 355 whose bright idea was it to stop there when you have the regular one in 360 so 355 just does not work on me it's not my color at all so this is 360 just use that all over and for the under eye this is the la girl concealer in the color what is this uh toffee <laughs> And I'm just blending this out with a brush and my finger in the beginning. I like doing it with my finger and then taking that brush to blend it out. It's just perfect. Then I'm going to use my foundation brush and kind of like blend those two together so it's like no harsh lines. You know, you don't see the difference, girl. And this is the Black Opal Medium Deluxe Setting Powder in the color medium. Yeah, I did that all wrong. <laughs> I haven't used this in a minute, so I was just like, hey, let's pull this out, girl. And for contouring, I'm using the Coastal Sense Chocolate Tear. It gets the job done but nothing like my it's judy time palette one <laughs> and i'm just like my heart is hurt let's not even talk about it anymore okay so <laughs> this is um a bh cosmetics brush no morphe brush and i'm just brushing off my highlight and since i use the maybelline fit me powder uh foundation let's just use the powder in the color 360 also loved this powder one of my drugstore staples perfect powder so i'm just gonna use that to set my face girl and we are looking flawless now for the under i mean lower lash i'm just using this la girl uh black is black what is that eyeliner perfect and then i'm gonna take that deep purple that i used up there and i'm going to put that on there and then it's the lighter purple and i'm going to place that on the beginning half in the tear duct all the colors that i use on the lid goes down there except for the blue because i wasn't feeling the blue girl this is the l'oreal telescopic um mascara perfect guys i love this mascara you really really need it even though it costs like seven eight dollars good it is really good though and that's it for the eyes coastal sense um 
26 shadow and blush palette this purple i'm really applying it just to the very high tops of my cheekbones like the apple apple like the apple <laughs> and blending it in now this is nick nix lip liner in the color cappuccino you guys know the deal okay now for lipstick this is the milani lipstick i forget the colors down below this is a perfect nude i did not know it looked like this because i never really used this but it reminds me of mac um you know mac Velvet Teddy looks good. Blend it in now, and that's just it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you thumbs up, okay? And let me know what you think down below. Love you. Bye.